Hey hockey player, in this video I'm going to be running you through my top three favorite exercises to improve your shot power. You and I are going to be walking through the wide pronated grip pull up, the high to low cable chop, and the horizontal medicine ball scoop toss. These are all great exercises for your shot power, but they're great exercises for your shot power for very different reasons. We're going to be moving from general to very specific in terms of sports science for hockey specific training. Let's begin with the wide pronated grip pull up. I'm going to be doing them right here, but when you talk about building horsepower for the shot, what are the muscles you need strong to be able to increase force output in a shot? Well, for sure, the core, the lats, the rotator cuff, and your grip strength. If you have strong hands, good rotator cuff strength, strong lats, and a stable anti-rotary core, you are going to have all of the machine work you need to have a very hard shot. Luckily for us, the wide pronated grip pull-up hits all of those at the same time. I'm going to show you how to do it properly. You're going to be here. It doesn't matter if you're pronated and straight or pronated and angle. It's the pronation that matters, meaning it's the overhand aspect that matters and not necessarily the positioning of your hand. But we do want to be wide with it. So we're going to be up. You can go thumbless grip or you can have a thumb grip. Again, it won't matter here. For the pull up, make sure you control your body and bring yourself all the way up and control down. All the way up, control yourself down. Notice I'm not using momentum and I'm bringing my chest all the way up to the top and controlling myself on the way back down. That is a great exercise to build all of the big horsepower you need behind the shot. Now, horsepower isn't all you need to make a shot very hard. What you need to do is convert that horsepower into functional hockey horsepower. And that's where the high to low cable chop comes into play. Because when you look at what are the muscle groups I need big and strong for a hard shot. Again, grip, rotator cuff, lats, core. But as we narrow the specificity of our training program design and we move from general strength to hockey strength, we understand that the shot is a cross body movement. So if I am a right handed slap shot, what is the cross body highway that I'm going to utilize to ensure I have a hard shot for rotation? It's going to go from the right serratus anterior into the right external oblique through the rectus abdominis into the left internal oblique and then ultimately into the hip flexor adductor abductor complex. That is a power highway that we need to train because the shot is a cross body movement opposite shoulder to opposite hips. How can we add a load to that so we make sure we can train our muscles involved in functional hockey shot power strength? High to low cable chops. High to low cable chops, I'm a big fan here of allowing some rotation in the feet, okay? Because I want to make sure I externally rotate a little bit with this hip and internally ro rotate a little bit with this hip as I come down and rotate. I'm back and I rotate. See, I'm externally rotating here, internally rotating here. Why? Because that's what you would be doing during a shot out in the ice. We want to call it functional hockey strength. We better be trained in functional hockey strength. Make sure that your shoulders don't dominate the movement because this is a core movement. I'm going to stay back here and I'm going to bring that chop. Yes, I'm pivoting, but I'm not coming forward with it. Also, I'm not bringing in my arms and doing this. Arms are nice and straight. Shoulders are back. Posture set. That little bit of pivots, all I need, because that little bit of pivots, all you'd be doing out in the ice, that's why we're doing the high to low cable chop. But now have you follow me over here, because we're going to finish this thing with the horizontal medicine ball scoop toss. This medicine ball is the pinnacle of power training for hockey athletes. Power is speed. It's not just force expression. It's the speed at which you can express force. So you can think about the wide pronated grip pull-up like developing the horsepower of the engine, 
the high to low cable chop, like making sure the machine operates within the right movement patterns. And then lastly, with the medicine ball scoop toss, we're making sure that that machine is explosively powerful so that it can express all of that horsepower with as much acceleration as power and power as possible. So when we think about moving from general to specific, general wide pronated grip lat pull down, moving up to be a little bit more specific, high to low cable chop, getting to the top of specificity for hockey shot power training. Well, when you analyze the shot from a biomechanical perspective, it is a low load because your stick and the puck aren't very heavy. It's low load, high velocity, rotational movement. Low load, high velocity, rotational. Scoop toss, low load, high velocity, rotational. What I want you to do with this, very similar to what we're doing with the chop. I actually want to load this leg and then internally rotate here and externally rotate here. Loading the back leg. That's where my power is coming from because that's where the power actually comes when you're doing a slap shot. You're not taking a slap shot with just your hands. You're taking a slap shot with your entire body and you are using your lower body, your hips, and your core all at the same time in a rotational velocity based movement. Here we go. I'm going to be here. I'm going to load my back leg, my back hip, and then I'm going to explode in a scoop toss fashion, directly horizontal. Here, looking, load, explode. And that would be a single effort movement. If I wanted to do more, I could move a little bit closer and do a back to back to back. You can do sets of one, two, three, four, or five, depending on where you're at in your periodization, okay? Those are my top three favorite exercises to have a harder shot. This really starts tying together hockey training program design from a general physical preparation perspective all the way up to a specific physical preparation perspective. If you use these three exercises, you'll be checking all the boxes to improve your shot power. All right? If you like that video, smash the thumbs up button and also subscribe to our hockey training channel. And click on the link in the comment section below for your free goal scoring package.